Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 Dev Preview inside a virtual machine. So for the virtual machine software we're going to be using, we're going to be using VirtualBox by Oracle. And the well, first thing we'll do here is click on New. And we're going to go through the little setup wizard here to create a new virtual machine. Hit Next. We'll need to name it. We're going to name it Windows 8 Dev Preview. And then the operating system, you want to have set to Microsoft Windows. And we're going to choose the version to be Windows 7 64-bit. Since I'm installing the Windows 8 Dev Preview in 64-bit, uh, I just want this to match up with it. And this is the closest thing. Hit Next. For RAM, you can. it's, it's recommended to have up to 1 gigabyte. We'll set it to 2048 or 2 gigabytes of RAM. And next thing, you want to create a virtual hard disk. If you have one, you can use an existing one. Or you want to create a new disk, we'll go ahead and create a new one. And here you can choose kind of what type of virtual disk is it. If you don't need to use it in other VMware players, such as VMware Player from VMware or other um, other virtual machine software, you can just choose Virtual Box Disk Image or VDI. Hit next, and this is either have a fixed size or dynamically allocated as it grows. So we'll just just leave it as the default. And it's recommended to have about 20 gigs of space on the uh, Windows 8 Dev Preview uh, system requirements. So we'll just leave it at 20 gigabytes here. Hit next. This is the summary here. So do settings look right? Hit create. We'll hit create one more time. And here we are. So we've created our virtual machine. But, but what we want to do is we want to go into settings and make sure a couple of things are accurate here. We want to go into system here. We want to make sure the chipset is set to IC9. You can change the processor. We can add uh, more CPUs to it. We'll add four to it here and um, acceleration you can choose that if you want to and then we go to display you can enable 2d or 3d acceleration leave it at that i want to add more video memory so i'll throw that all the way up to 128 megabytes and for storage here you want to change id controller to ic ich6 and then what we want to do here as well right is we want to add the actual um, iso here for it to install so you want to hit empty here you want to Click the little icon next to ID, ID Secondary Master. Choose the virtual clone drive and well, virtual drive uh, right here, virtual ISO rather. And that's it right there to develop a preview. We'll hit open. And now that's loaded up. Next thing you want to do is just check here in network to make sure this is set to Intel. And you should be good to go to power it on. And we'll go ahead and power this on. Double click it. Start it up. This probably won't be at scale right away but take a look here all right you're gonna get a few pop-ups here about this so we'll just click OK on that and what we'll do here we'll maximize this out yeah it's not scaled but that's all right we'll double click into here we'll hit next just goes through pretty much a normal Windows installation it looks similar to what we've seen before in Windows 7 so the setup starting All right, you want to accept the terms. We want to do a custom. We want to install right within that 20 gigabytes we made. And it's going to go through the install process. So we'll be back as soon as this is done. OK, we have the uh, operating system installed. It took roughly about 10 minutes to install, so it's pretty fast on a virtual machine here. And we're set up and ready to go. Just note that it will reboot once after it um, installs. The virtual machine itself will reboot and install. Then We'll come right up to this screen here. So we just need to accept the licensing terms for on this Windows PC. Hit accept. And I'll go through a few basics here. Personalization. We'll name the PC. We'll name it BW1. And we can use express settings or we can customize express settings. I'll make a star recommended update. So I'll protect my PC. Apps. Yep, yep, yep. We'll go through the customization, of course. And you will hit um, yes, share and connect. Automatically um, install important updates. Okay, step, yep. Just leave all this stuff to on um, so you guys can see it. All right. So you can see you can really customize your your setup here. Log in. Just make it the same thing. Log. Oh, log on to my Windows ID. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that there. Put my Windows ID in here. to my password all right
it's creating my account. Let's wait for that. Finalizing the settings and please wait. It's clicking you. We'll just drag up here. Go ahead and log into the system. And here we are. So that's the start menu. We'll try to log off and log back in again to see if we can get the start screen and options to come up. There we go. Now it's right this time. <laughs> here we go. So this is pretty much what we see here. And obviously this is all really, really geared towards touchscreen input. So I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse to kind of slide through. Give you guys an idea here. You can see the control panel. You can change settings and stuff like that. Personalization. You can choose apps to put on the front there. Pretty cool. But this is pretty much just showing you how to install it on a virtual machine here. And we pretty much had a whole lot of success doing that. So um, definitely we'll be doing sort of a walkthrough of the uh, interface itself coming up soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. So I'll go ahead and home screen here. So this is Bowman here from B2B1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check out the write-up on this how-to. The link to that and all our social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.